All right, let's now get you the latest from the U.S. Huawei tensions. President Xi Jinping has said that China is ready to share its newest technologies, including 5G Internet services with other countries. The President Xi Jinping was speaking at an economic forum in St. Petersburg. Russian President Vladimir Putin was also present at the forum. The Putin complained about what he called his unfair competition and protectionism from the West and Washington in particular. Look, earlier this week, Russia's top mobile phone operator, MTS, and also China's Huawei have signed an agreement to develop 5G technology in Russia and to hold test launches this year and also in the year 2020. Now, the agreement was signed following talks in Moscow between Putin and Xi. Бывает озабоченность, что такая разрушительная практика поразила не только традиционные рынки, энергетические, сырьевые, товарные, но и перекочевала в новые, формирующиеся отрасли. Ситуация вокруг компании Huawei, например, которую пытаются не просто потеснить, а бесцеремонно вытолкнуть с глобального рынка. Это уже называют даже в некоторых кругах первой технологической войной наступающей цифровой эпохи. In the meanwhile, Brazil has said that it will not exclude Huawei technologies from operating a fifth-generation mobile telecoms network. The United States has also asked countries to reject Huawei technology in the development of the new mobile phone networks. The United States has said that other countries could be vulnerable to Chinese eavesdropping. Now, Huawei has denied its equipment as a the, Huawei has denied that its equipment is a security risk, as the Americans are alleging. Now, Huawei has already been logged out from the U.S. markets, from Australia and New Zealand have also blocked it from building 5G networks in their nations. Now, the Japanese government had said last year that it will ban government purchases of equipment from the Chinese company. All right, let's now shift our attention to Saudi Arabia, where the country might just execute an 18-year-old Murtaja Khurayis was just 10 years old when he had led an anti-government protest in the country. At the age of 13, he had been arrested. And now, at the age of 18, he's staring at a possible death penalty. If Saudi Arabia sentences Quares to death, then he would join at least three other minor prisoners who were executed this year. Now, according to reports, Saudi Arabia is looking to impose the harshest form of death penalty on Murtaja Quares. This may include crucifixion or dismemberment after execution. Now, Quares is currently being tried at a terror court. The prosecution has accused him of belonging to an extremist terror group. He also faces other charges such as violence committed during protests, helping to construct Molotov cocktails and shooting at security forces. Now, all of these charges have been denied by Quares. In fact, Quares has maintained that the confessions were obtained from him under duress. The prosecutors have argued that the charge of sowing of sedition against the 18-year-old warrants the worst possible punishment according to the Sharia law. Now, this isn't an anomaly in Saudi Arabia. Human rights groups have criticized Saudi Arabia for executing minors. Now, the age of criminal responsibility in Saudi Arabia is not clearly spelt out. Now, according to Human Rights Watch, the kingdom has raised the age to 12. The human rights NGO Amnesty International has stepped in and has urged Saudi Arabia to not impose death penalty on the teenager.